So as you might know already, the Notion API public beta has been released a couple of days ago. And today we are actually going to check out one of the native integrations that Notion now has, which is with Typeform. Uh, now Typeform, if you don't know, is a form kind of form builder tool, uh, which helps you to create surveys uh, for your customers or for other people um, and to kind of collect that data from them in a nice looking way. And now it's possible to actually get that data directly into your Notion database. And I'm going to show you how you can do this in this video. Let's check it out. In order for this integration or automation to work, we first have to obviously set up a database in Notion and also a form in Typeform. Now, this is just a really simple form that I've created. It just asks the person for their name, uh, for their email address, for their phone number, um, what best describes them. So there are four options, business owner, freelancer, uh, student and employee, as you see right here. And then also if, if there's like anything else to add. And now for the integration to work, we have to kind of replicate this exact kind of uh, structure. So these different fields uh, inside of a Notion database. So let me show you how this would look. So instead of Notion, I have created a simple database uh, that just has these different fields that we want to uh, like add the information to because we have to match these different fields so that Typeform actually knows uh, where the information has to go that we're like entering into Typeform. So I have the name field here as well. I have the email field. I have this random phone number and then also I have the employment type. Uh, now here you have to make sure that you actually add these different options that you give in Typeform uh, as options already uh, when you're creating the database. I did this mistake uh, earlier on when I just tested out the the integration and it didn't work if you if you didn't do that. So make sure to include these options here before you actually, uh, you know, try to build the integration. Now you might be wondering where this last part actually went. So the is there anything else that you want to add, which is just like a text that people uh, can send us. And this actually will directly go into the page content of this item. So if I open this up, this is the content. So this is a demo entry that I created. Uh, this is actually where this content will actually go later. And this is only possible to do using the Zapier integration at this point in time. Um, so what we'll do in this video is we'll take a look at both the native Typeform integration and also how you can do the integration with Zapier kind of as the middleman, which gives you a bit more um, um, possibilities right now. All right, so with that out of the way, we are ready to uh, connect the tools together. Uh, by going to the connect um, like section or tab uh, inside of Typeform. Now, since this is a native integration, this actually works pretty well. Um, you can just search through the integration. So you can just search for Notion and then you will see this integration right here. Now I've set this up already, but um, I'm going to show you what you actually have to do. So I'm just going to click on edit and then you'll see the options that you have to go through. Uh, now, first you have to connect your Typeform account with your uh, like Notion account. So you have to authorize that. Um, you have to do the same thing with your Notion account. And in the third step, you have to select the database that you want to connect. Uh, now in order for this to work, uh, you will have to go back into Notion and into the sharing menu and here you will have to like set this up to be shared with the Typeform integration. Um, so go to uh, this up menu right here and then down here select the integration that you want to connect in this case Typeform uh, then click invite and then the integration will actually have access to that database. Now the database should be shown in this drop down which it is so it's the form entries one right here and then we're ready to start the mapping process. This is where you map the answer fields in Typeform to the database columns or database entries and different database uh, data types inside of Notion. So let me quickly show you how this is done. Uh, just click on this drop down right here, then select a field. So we're first going to choose the what is your name field. And then we are going to select a field to map this to. So in this case, we want to map it to the name field inside of Notion. Uh, next, we are going to choose the what is your email address field and we're going to map that to the email and we'll do the same thing for the other questions as well. So we'll do it for the phone number like this and then also we're going to do it with the uh, kind of what best describes you. So uh, what we have the four different options, student, employee, um, business owner and freelancer. Um, we're going to map this to the employment type. 
Now you see this little reminder here as well, uh, which just uh, says you have to make sure that you have to define the different options for the select field in Notion first um, before setting this up. So what I told you. Um, now the issue is with this integration right now is that you can't map the uh, last field. So this is there anything else that you want to add uh, to the actual page content? So right now using the native integration, you can only map these fields uh, like with the individual database fields. So name, email, phone number and employment type, uh, but you can't actually just write content uh, to the page of uh, that database entry. This is why we'll have to um, like remove this and then just click on save mapping because then uh, this, uh, this works out and then this is how it's supposed to be. Now let's quickly add a demo entry to Typeform to see if this is actually working. So um, let me start. So now I'll just create another demo entry to see if this integration is working correctly uh, and then I'll see you in the Notion database. All right, so now I've successfully uh, entered my information into the form and let's go back to the Notion database to see if the automation is working correctly. And indeed, we see this new entry right here, which is John Doe, which is the name that I just uh, chose for this uh, demo, the email address, phone number, and the employment type as well. Uh, now, what you do also see is, again, if I open this up, there is no page content in here uh, because this doesn't work um, right now and you can't write to the page content using the Typeform integration for now. Again, this might quickly change. So if you watch this video at some point in the future, uh, maybe this feature is already available, um, but for now it isn't. And that's why I'm going to show you how you can set up a similar integration uh, using Zapier as the middleman which does allow you to do this uh, and which is also how I added this in for this first entry right here. For this to work, you will have to set up an integration for Zapier. Um, so just go to developers.notion.so and uh, there you will find this option to create the integrations. Now I have created my, uh, my integration as well. So um, if I click on that, that, that's how it looks. And uh, what this gives you is this internal integration token, uh, which you can then insert into Zapier uh, to kind of authenticate your Notion account uh, and to connect the tools to each other. Then again, you also have to give uh, the Zapier integration uh, access to this database. Um, so you will have to go to the share menu again, and you see I have added this already, but if you haven't, uh, click on here and then choose the integration. Uh, again, I've, had it, uh, I've added it already, but um, you can add it from here. So now how do you set up the actual automation in Zapier? Uh, well, it's really simple. It's just two steps. You have to choose a trigger um, when a new entry is added to Typeform, and then you're going to create a database item in Notion. Now, if you don't know how Zapier actually works, I have created a beginner tutorial, which I am also going to link in uh, the video card. And I'm also going to be publishing lots of more content and a Zapier 101 course in the near future. Um, so if that sounds interesting to you, then uh, stay tuned and um, maybe follow the channel or follow me on Twitter, um, where you will get updates on that. All right, so now let's cover these two steps uh, step by step. Um, so we'll start off with the first one. Um, you obviously have to choose the uh, type form as the, um, the trigger type or trigger app. Um, as the trigger event, you have to choose new entry and then you have to connect with your account. Uh, next up, you have to choose the form that you want to, this to trigger on. So again, really straightforward, nothing much to do here and um, then you can test your trigger. For this, you will have to create some kind of entry, uh, but if you have created one for the type form earlier as well, then you don't need to do that anymore. And if that is actually looking good, then you can click on continue. And then we come to the more interesting part, which is the second part, uh, the um, like adding a new item in Notion. Uh, again, as a first step, you have to um, choose Notion as the integration. Uh, and then you have to choose the create database item option. And now there's also an update database item option and a find database item options, which we'll cover in additional videos, but this uh, makes sense using the create database item uh, option. Next up, you have to connect your Notion account, uh, which is what I said. This is where you have to uh, like kind of authenticate using the um, API key that you get 
uh, from the integration that you created. And then in the setup, this is where things get a bit more interesting. First, you have to choose the database again. Um, so this is the form entries database where we actually want to like push this uh, data that we get. Then we have to um, map these different fields. So uh, the what is your name field, this is going to map to my name. So we're going to get this from the uh, type form from uh, the first step. Um, and you can just go down here and see what these different fields are and then just plug the data in here. So uh, yeah, the what is your name field is uh, my name, obviously. The employment type field uh, is obviously uh, the uh, like answer that we get from this, uh, this field. So what best describes you? Email, phone number. So this is pretty straightforward. And then this is where it gets interesting because here, as I said, you can actually write to the page content. Um, so in this case, we are actually like adding this to the uh, general page content in, in um, Notion. And let me demonstrate this. So I'll just type in, this will be written to the page content. And um, we can actually delete this extra field because we don't need it. And click on continue. And we can actually retest the action. So I've obviously tested it already, but we can also retest and then we should get another database item. Let's go to our database and uh, indeed we get this third item. And if I open this up, then I also see, uh, you know, this will be written to the page content, which we just added uh, in Zapier. All right, so that's it for the Typeform integration with Notion. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it. Uh, as I said, the API is not at the final stage yet, so there are still some things that are not working correctly, like uh, not being able to write to the page content, but all in all, it works pretty good. And um, you can do most of the stuff with Zapier already. So I'm going to be, as I said, creating lots more content around um, automating Notion using Zapier uh, in the coming weeks. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter at uh, Janos Work and uh, also subscribe to my newsletter, which you can find at janosworkspace.com slash newsletter and also in the video description. That's it for this video and I hope I see you next time. Take care.